What's up guys? My, my name is Turbot Films and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So in the last episode we launched the Turb 5 Space Station, I think it's called. Let's see. Let, no, the Turb Station of Kerbin. Yes, Turb Station of Kerbin. This very much own made space station. Which I can look at. No, I can't. <laughs> Apparently I can't. But anyway, today's target is this thing. I'm gonna try to see if I can rendezvous with this thing. And if you don't know what rendezvous means, that means meet up with it in space. This will take a time, I promise you, yeah, so this might be cut up in pieces because this is a really hard maneuver. Really hard to do maneuver. But first, we need a ship to do that thing a bit. Wait. I can't speak here. But the Kerbal X should be fine if I can uh, redesign it a bit, remake it, or re redo it a bit to add some RCS fuel and some RCS thrusters. And yeah, that should be fine after that. So let's see here. I will need four of these at this position here and four of them right here. I will not need landing legs. One thing I will need is a docking clamp. Which is kind of obvious, and I will use the this thing, the shielded one, because that's the one that looks the good best, I think. You can also add them in the size if you like it, if you like to dock like that. But I can't dock that way with this station, because it was never designed for it. So we'll just have to see the Kerbal X docking. Right, it's Kerbal X docking. Uh, oh well, we'll see if this thing even flies. Because <laughs> I have no idea if it will. Will do or not. But that's for me to discover, ain't it? Yeah, I think so. But should we try this thing then? So. Yeah, this should work. I can't do that. Remove. Right, launch. To the launch pad we go. It's in the middle of the night, so I'll just fast forward to day. Because for me, it doesn't even matter if it's. Yeah, one thing this thing needs before I forget now, it's it it needs it is unstable and it will need some or it need one advanced SAS. Just for safety reasons and docking reasons because one time I forgot to use the uh, ASAS on a ship and well that didn't work. Just saying like that. Right now I can fast forward, thankfully. Right. Sun's rising. Right. So Three, two, one, one. And it's on. Lift off. I don't know why my tower isn't colored anymore. I think there's a bug in the install I have, so. We'll see. And another thing, everything that's. I might be stuck in reinstall, see if that helps. But uh, everything that's a debris, is, well, normal spawn debris is uh, marked as unknown. So I don't know. We'll see. Oop, I need to ditch the first engine, apparently, already. Second one. These things run off the fuel fast. And vroom, and vroom. Ah, yeah, another thing. This engine will actually grab from that, that's why. You can see this is, it hasn't even started anything out yet. One day I'll go over here, you can see the pixels here. My baby, if you are on HD and full screen, you will see. But there are some pixels there, that's a target of mine in the future. But not right now, so I won't even look at it. Let's see, alright, we're here. The station is about 208 at all times. I think it's very bad to 208 at 2 and 10. 210. 210. 1000 meters or 210 kilometers or 21 miles. I think. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But I will start doing the gravity turn, otherwise, I will never go to space. I will just go straightly forward. So, Yodorf, Shellrim, and Raycan. Raycan? What What kind of name is Raycan? I don't know Ray's name, but can. That's like a can of soda. Or yeah, anything. So, that's odd. I guess. Alright, so I need 200 kilometers. 200 kilometers, that's really far if you don't know. Just thought I would say that. I might actually do it to just about 100. 100 kilometers uh, Just because that will actually work Kinda 
Just kinda. Mm, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see if it works or not, I guess. Let's just thrust. Thrust, 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 thrust. Ooh, power on the engines. Right, let's break it down this thing. Break it down, break it down. Alright, let's do that and fast forward time. Well, not, not that kind of fast forward. So you'll see these things. Or I need to reinstall the game, I think. Oh, this thing is it's a very cryptic orbit here. That's not good. That's no good. Now is it? No, it's not. But that means I will have it. What? Well, hmm. music. Yes, there's music in the game. I might have forgotten to mention that in the first video. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, who really cares? This is music. Not that I to complain about. Yeah, look, see, my orbit straight out actually. Because this thing is not at a straight orbit either, so that would be kind of hard to run the orbit. So because I never run the with something that's not at a straight orbit, or a ninety degrees about about ninety degrees. So that might work, might not. We'll see. Disconnecting engine. Three, two, one. Lift, lift off. And launch. Woo! Bye bye. Bye bye. And you can also see. It's unknown. Kerbal X stuck in unknown. So I will just fast forward the time like this and throttle up. Because it has automatically throttle down now. Which I like. Like it does that. Right, let's set you as a target. Like that. So I know where I should go. Let's see here. Where's my first intersect? Is it here? Yeah, it is here. Awesome. So uh, let's see here. This thing should go around here. Boot. I boot. Because I did not launch at the straightest of angles. Alright, that did not work as I wanted. Because I kind of passed it. Greatly. I will show you guys how this works. Well, I, when I get these things kind of close to each other. So you can see here, if I do that, you have a separation between this one and the other purple one that's right there so I'm gonna get this as close as I can which is about 20 kilometers kind of far away so one thing I can do is uh, no I will do that when I get there but now we can see uh, you need <laughs> come on right when I pass the first orange one this will turn orange or orange 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 because that's my second intercept with the station or the closest intercept which is not that close anyway so about here I will actually you can see I have a target up here which is good so now we'll go to the target thing here so I can slow that orbit down in a relevant scale for me okay uh, I think that's called yeah relevant scale which show you see I'm uh, about 21 kilometers away from this thing you can see it down not down there apparently I need to keep my orbit in check here so I won't miss this thing. Because I don't have a maneuver node activated here. Because I don't really like them when they're on the wing. Which will, that's why I'm just using this system. I like them for intercepting plans. That's great. And Because uh, I can see when I get close to them and stuff. Right. So now I'm going to see if I can point straight towards the target. Oh, I'm not still yet. Not good. This might not actually work. Because you can, I can get this thing here still. Then I uh, know I mean it's about the same orbit as this, as the, fi as the thing is in. Which the thing is now my station. Right, so let's see here. Let's slow down as much as I can. All right, that should be good. All right, so now I have the station over there. So I'm gonna find the point. Whoop! This thing here on the globe, the purple thing with the dot and the, the outlines around that thing that's the direct approach for the thing here so I'll now increase my orbits to where I actually chase it so about there should be good in speed 159.9 meters or 160 for now I'll just now you can see I'm a bit fast closer to it which is good that's what I need so I'll slow down again Right now you can see I have a critical low on fuel, so good for me. I can use RCS then. So 
and uh, how much RCF fuel? Yeah, I don't. I won't use that much, so I can do these maneuvers all in RCS. That's the good part about this. The bad part, it doesn't go as fast, so I have more control over myself here. I'll do this, and if you want to know what the up and down key for the RCS is, while not in the docking mode, it's H and N for up and down, or V. It's N. Oh, I have my N, so that's why. That's why it's going fast. It's almost wondering. But I can press Alt and that one, and it will go a bit faster, not too much. But you can see I'm not running a lot of fuel on here, so. Good. Good, good. Let's see, just move this bit up. Just move this thing up a bit. So I slow, slow down relevant to it. I'm not moving fast at all anymore, so. I won't have a trouble now slowing down. But I won't be able to get this thing to about 100 again. That's almost impossible. See? Slow down a bit more. Whoa! Whoa! I need to chase this thing. Right. So now I'm going 2 meters away from it. Whoa! Or close to it. I don't know. I don't like RCS turning. I don't know why I don't like it. I just like it for the docking. But let's see here. Whoop! I pressed the wrong button. Let's see. Boots for it, so I get about, I don't know, 5 meters a second. That's quite fast, but not as fast as you might want it, because look how slowly I chase it. Alright, now I need to slow down again. I can do this thing other also. I can go to the uh, prograde, I think it's called, and actually follow the wrong, the wrong direction, uh, just for the sake of it. So you can see, right, so I could speed up by pressing H, but I'm going to press N. That means I'm going to slow down instead, because I'm only about 1.9 kilometers away from the stairs, the turb station of Kerber. And I have, yeah, that's my fuel. And the uh, last is fuel. I have a bunch, and the station is for refueling, so awesome, right? And Kerber right there. So also, if I go to map, you can see I'm actually matching the orbit. Gratefully. Awesome, just what we want. Just what we want. Right, I'm gonna move a line to that. Ooh, I'm actually in a stable orbit. For once? Alright, oh, I'm moving in. That's because I'm using the RCS to move. If I don't do that, I won't that thing won't change. That's just because how they work. Just booting around a bit to turn me. So let's boost for it again. Pressing RCS and boost. To about ten again, so I can or 5 again, I mean, sorry, not 10. 10 would be too much. This thing right now, so you won't try it yourself. And I'm actually doing this as a bad, like, stupidly amount long way from this thing. But yeah, that's just because of the sake of the video. Right, so now you can see, I am 500 meters away from this thing. So I'm going to slow down even more. Or approach it even more. So about right here. Then I can press H, or N, I mean. And start slowing down again because I don't want to miss this thing. Because I'm, yeah, I'm close to it. And you, if you thought Ronnie Woods was hard, now it's not. It's easy, easy. Right, so let's just slow down. Relevant to it again. And that's just by thrusting the wrong way. Right, so now I can disable Mars this again and face the station once again and do that docking or Mars this again and go for it. Now I just don't just want to move one meter a second, not anything faster, because I can use the time acceleration. And I yeah. Woo! Right. This is why you want to use the time acceleration instead. Oh, I'm still time accelerating. Not good. Right. So slow down. I'm 48 meters away from this thing. I'm gonna set the clamp as a target, because I'm in perfect position for it. Actually, I mean it. Then I'm, by perfect position, I mean perfect position. Because the station is facing me, I'm facing, already facing that thing. Alright, I just need to open shield. Alright, my docking is ready. I'm ready. Let's go for it. Not too fast now. Alright. Well, this is how far I am. And you can see the turf station. Of Kerbin. Yay. Right, so now I'm gonna go into docking mode, which you don't need to do, I just like to do it, because that changed those, these controls to the difference here. 
The only bad thing is it, but you can't really like do a pitch and yaw. You only have left, right, up and down, and fade. Or not even up and down, you just have left, right, forward and backwards. That's all control you have. So I'm gonna lead that again. Because now I need to move up a bit, speed up a bit. Or, yeah, speed up a bit. Alright, so I wanna get as close as I can. To about right here. This might change for you if your station is different, I don't know. Might be, it's probably, because my station is bad, and you should not copy it, not even try to copy it. Because it's a bad design, everything. Right, so I'm moving in. We're moving in a bit fast. Slowing down again. Right, it's, you might think it's going so slow and gentle, but yeah, I'm going at about 2 kilometers a second, not that slow. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Right, now oh, I'm actually moving backwards, which is good. This is actually going quite good. Didn't think it's good this good. Because I am really lousy at talking. But I'm just gonna set this set this as a target again, just to be sure. Because once I actually forgot to set the target and... Well, when it was time to dock, it didn't really work. But you can see, I'm so close. Right, let's slow down again. I'm so close. Look at it. Look at that. You can see I'm not close enough. So I'm gonna see if I can actually. Right. Let's move the other way. Up a bit. Actually, I can't turn like that. Right. Now the hard part for me is beginning. Let's see here. Get back a bit. And. Just tap the forward key. Right. Roll. Right there. Right, if I just disable that, this might work. Yeah. It might work and it will work. So let's just do that again. And turn this thing on again. And boost a bit. Boost a little bit. Right, I'm getting in for an angle. It's good. This is really good. Oh my god, this is gonna work. Oh god, I docked! Oh, I docked! <laughs> Look at this! Right. So now, if you wanna transfer your fuel, because I have... Well, fuel. I can... Uh, right click. No. Uh, alt click. No. How do I do this? I do not know how to transfer fuel. Oops! I'm turning my engine on. Not good. Well, <laughs> I, I ran out of fuel. Uh, let's see. If I right click that, I right click that, no? Alt right click. <gasps> yeah, alright, you can see here now I can transfer, transfer, transfer. Uh, the oxide, oh, I closed it again. Right click, right click. I can uh, transfer fuel uh, out and out of oxidizer. Now I'm gonna fill up the little fueling thing here. I'm refueling the ship. Yes, because I can use the ship. But right, you can see th these tanks aren't even close. So I have the other one thankfully so let's see out out let's just fill the ship up again you can now see how this can be very vital to your moon mission if you are using the Kerbal X because it's not powerful enough right so I emptied the station's fuel reserves pretty much so in the next episode I'm gonna get here a tanking ship which I will build between these episodes hopefully and uh, get some fuel back here but for now I'll see you guys next time bye